Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Please welcome to the show our dear friend Kathy Lee Yay! Gifford, and Hi, she's everybody. she's bringing Hi. Max How with are her. You? Kathy Lee, come here. Good to see you. You too. Come this here. This is sit my up. new artist of the month. Are you Hi, everybody. Are you stealing my dog? He, he doesn't want to come back to you. <laughs> you he was <laughs> humping me in the green room. Oh, you love that. I did. It's It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Max is great, even though his breath smells like shrimp. Yeah, I just got a whiff of it. And yeah. I got a whiff of the other end, too. Oh, this, oh, this. Oh. <laughs> Why are you sniffing my dog? I butt? don't know, because he was humping me. It just seemed natural. <laughs> it's so great to have you on. And i got to be honest, though. It's kind of weird to interview a friend. Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because when you have... Well, oh, when you come on with us, it's the same thing. It's just weird. I know, but on TV, it's different. Because you guys are, like, reading scripts... We don't read anything. We we don't prepare. That's how we do it, too. They're oh, like, my gosh. Show much, up. Right? Wake up. Get dressed. Go. That's us. They say, how much time do you put into the show? I, I go, start laughing oh. when people say, how much yeah. time do you need to prepare? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> prepare. No, but you know, being on the Today Show, it's just such a gift. I love doing that segment. But yeah. It's, but it's only like three seconds long, and then they're like, please leave. The security wants you out of here. No, it is <laughs> not. Come on. Oh. No, it's been great for us having you there, too, because you have a whole different audience than we do. And we, we're trying to go for that young, hot, cool demographic. And who's young, hot, and cooler than you? <laughs> Nobody. Well, except for you. That's, that's kind of sad that you think I'm young and hot. But well, wait. I'm not 97. I'm 98. <laughs> Stop it. And I am the oldest woman ever to have three number one singles. Um, really? it, it was Reba McIntyre when she had one at 55. Yeah. I am so past Reba McIntyre, <laughs> and I've had three in five months. That's Congratulations. amazing. I know. It's unbelievable. So, God okay. has a great sense of humor. <laughs> Look around. Yes, and she does. <laughs> oh. right, let me tell you about Kathy Lee, as if she's not here. Let's talk about her, shall we? Can you turn my mic up? It's like echoing or something. I don't know. Um, Kathy Lee is a workaholic. She's recording songs, albums. She's doing a film. There's a film coming out. Well, the songs that are are for the film. So it, we're, we're we're making the soundtrack. Brett right. James and I. Now, on top of that, she does the the, the, the uh, Today Show. Yeah. Every single day, mm -hmm. except for maybe three months a year. <laughs> 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 she, I you, wish. <laughs> you, you think we take vacations? Yeah, you this guys one... get a lot of vacation over oh there. My Lord. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I took I took some weeks off in January, but I was in Israel shooting um, you know, videos. All so right. it's not as if I'm lounging around in my thong eating bonbons. <laughs> What's that like? You do that. You go off to Santa Fe and do that. You lounge around in your thong, yeah. don't you? I don't, I you put your thing in a thong and you lounge. I lounge in Kathy Lee's thong. <laughs> anyway, she's she's working so hard. And but I, it doesn't feel like work, Elvis. I love what I okay, do. So if someone came up to you today and said, hey, I've never heard of you. What do you do for a living? You would tell them what? I'm... Um, exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. What do you do? It for depends a living? on what I'm doing. I'm, I am co-host of the fourth hour of the Today Show, and when I'm not doing that, I'm fulfilling the dreams I've had since uh, on, for a lifetime. And what are those dreams? Well, I, you know, it's funny. We, we're having Haley Mills on our show today, and Haley Mills was one of my first heroines in life. You know, she just she did the Disney movies, and when I was a young girl, I wrote Walt Disney a letter and said, "Dear Mr. Disney, I know you love Haley Mills and Annette Funicello, but you need to meet me." Because I'm known for my expressions. I was the most obnoxious kid, and I've, I haven't changed. But uh, So it's going to be a thrill. I've met Haley before, but that's all I wanted to do my whole life was make movies and sing. And there, wow. there you are. And now we've, uh, I've written a movie called uh, Love Me to Death, and Brett and I just put out the first single two weeks ago. It went to number one on the soundtrack on uh, iTunes and the Billboard charts. And it's uh, the, the, obviously one of the main songs from the upcoming movie, which we're going to film in Scotland in June. So you're taking more time off in June to film stuff. <laughs> it's in my contract, honey. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah, we need it's your in my eight, contract. We, we all need Kathy Lee's agent. <laughs> yeah. No, now, you know what? The Today Show is following the making of our movie from the very beginning. All five of our singles are going to be... Um, you and I were supposed to talk when you were on vacation. So I I went down to our friend Bobby Bones and he did the honors. Yeah. So yeah, oh, cool. we were on vacation when she wanted to launch the song, and yeah. I'm like, "Ooh, what's gonna happen?" So she went to the Bobby Bones show. Okay. We love Bobby. Then Bobby. Bobby loves you, and you said Elvis mentored me. Elvis is a dear tr uh, friend, and he just adores you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I guess the point I want to make here, out of many points to. That need to be made need to be made today is Kathy Lee is the example of someone who works her ass off and sees results and yeah. it fires her up to keep doing it. Yeah. You, you just keep doing it. I have that terrible disease called no acetal. 
Yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a nice butt. It's about half the size it was. I'm working so hard. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, as you see, my dog Max is asleep on Kathy Lee's lap. Yeah, out yeah. cold. Can I tell you the? Did I tell you the Britney Spears story? Britney Spears <laughs> no. came in. Okay, Britney Spears came in. We interviewed her one day. She sat in my chair. She she insisted on sitting in my chair, and she was holding Max. And when the questions got a little tough for her, she started she started pinching his. His fur. It looked like she was about to rip his fur off his body. I don't Why? Think she realized she was doing it, but she was so nervous that it was like, I, it was weird. She was like, what, what were you questioning her about? No, 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 they it was, weren't crazy questions they, either. They, they were really simple weren't. questions. But he gets nervous during interviews. Yeah. But look at him. He's, no, he's, he's sound asleep. Oh, look yeah, at that. So, so okay. You know what, one thing you guys do that I love. By the way, we're going to play a piece of the song in a second. About we, 10 seconds. <laughs> I know, heaven forbid your top 40 people get all upset. <laughs> Kathy Lee's got a hit single. Oh. No, it's not. It's not. I've got 29 seconds. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm big. Who's bigger than me? <laughs> I can't believe you're going to my show. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pinch your fur for that. <laughs> you just told me you had a hairy nipple. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Kathy Lee, she loves my hairy nipples. By the way, that's my new radio name, Harry Nipples. Harry Nipples, yes, uh, porn now, star. No, okay. So <laughs> if you think about if you think about the words to the song "Love Me to Death," that's that's an intense lyric. Love me to yes. death. I wrote these lyrics um, last August uh, in a four hundred year old um, um, Scottish castle um, because I I was out there location scouting and I we found the, the dreamiest, most wonderful places. And um, for my character, Annabelle, uh, what happens to her, I, I, I wrote these lyrics two o'clock in the morning, middle of the night, and called Brett the next day and said, I think I have the closing song credits for Annabelle. Because she discovers when she thinks that love is no longer possible for her. Uh, she, well, I don't want to tell you what happens in the movie, but something happens to her. And this song uh, expresses exactly what she's feeling in a man's arms for the first time in many years. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this character, Annabelle, does it closely resemble the life you're living? Is this you? No, it's not me. It's, um... When was the last time you were in a man's arms? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, it's been a long time. Been a very long time. And, uh, and you, you feel like maybe everything in life like that is passed by you. So I, I wanted to write a movie about a woman who is not like me. In the only sense that she is, is that she is widowed. Right. Uh, it, very uh, abruptly. Her husband's in excellent shape. Um, he, he's, he has an accident, and she's widowed at the beginning of the, of the movie. And she goes on a journey, and it takes her uh, to Scotland, where she meets... Uh, the character of Howard Odd, Lord Howard Odd, who has an odds in. And it's what happens between two people in the next week. Um, and I don't want to give anything else away. All right, all right. Don't tell me too much. But can you imagine sitting in a, a castle in Scotland? And writing. Oh, it's two in the morning. I think I'll write a song. No, and Brett's very <laughs> funny about it. Too, who is Brett? Brett you, James you has Brett. had over 500 hits. Google him. He's one of the, He's a beast in the music industry. And he writes with everybody. And um, and he said to me, Kathy, I, I, I've, I've written with everybody. I've really been blessed to, to be able to write like that. But I have never, ever written with anybody that God wakes up at 2 o'clock in the morning and has perfect set of lyrics for me and just hands them to well, me. Well, no, wait a minute. To be fair, I mean, a lot of artists we interview, Kathy Lee, uh -huh. th they wake up and yeah. write down lyrics and go back to sleep. And that's not un uncommon. They're, because you are in a whole different world. When no, you're no, asleep. no. I'm not saying that it's it's that they don't wake up with lyrics. He's saying the ones he's written with don't, and they, oh. that that is, he wouldn't change a word of them. He's got you know it's not it's not like a one line or two lines. It's a full fledged beginning to end song. By the way, uh, one wow. question: Do you guys really drink that heavily on your show? No, because because you're always <laughs> drinking on the Today we, Show. We sip our wine occasionally. <laughs> Some days we sip a little more than Can I tell you? the it day before. Every time it depends on how much you drive me crazy. Every time, every time I've hung out with Kathy Lee, we get obliterated. Well, it's not <laughs> we really do. Okay, okay, I want to play a piece of the Only song. when you come to my house in the summertime and we have like four hour lunches. That happens. Well, she has her own wine. You know why? Because, well. <laughs> because, she's because I can. She drinks a lot. <laughs> right, this is a piece of love me to death. 30 seconds worth. Oh, 29. Did Bobby Bones play the whole thing? The whole thing and showed the video all day long. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. 
goddamn Bobby Bones. <laughs> what a way to go, what a way to go. Crank it, die. please, since it's only 30 it's seconds. Once in my life, I get to feel this alive with you, so good and tender. In that sweet moment of surrender, when I closed my eyes and held my very. You could have made it a more exciting breath. part of the song. And let you love me to death. Why are you always bitching and moaning at me? Why are you, you're, you're, you're always yelling at me. You're like my mom. <laughs> that was 30 seconds? Wow. <laughs> Couldn't you have uh, played the, 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 where I hit a high note or something? You're putting people to sleep and they're, they're in drive time radio. It sounded beautiful. Thank you very much. Check it out, please. Yeah. Okay, yes. watch this. Watch this. It's not number one today. It was number one when it came out. Yeah. Let's make it number one again. Yeah, Go. well, it would help if you play the whole damn thing, but no. apparently that's not about to happen. Go to iTunes. Who and- hired you and who keeps you on the air? <laughs> If, if he treats his friends this way, people, imagine how he treats his enemies. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Please, just buy it so she'll get off my ass. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of the song, go buy it. Go to iTunes and buy Love Me to Death by Kathy Lee. And Brett James. All right, so what you guys do at Today Show, many things are so great. And you guys cover the news, but you cover it in a the news in a real way. Yes. Rather than looking at a prompter and reading the news, yeah. you talk about it. and. Talking about how the news makes you feel, Mm -hmm. I think, is so much more important than than just reading headlines. Well, I have never um, pretended that I am a journalist, because I'm not. I'm an entertainer. I came out of the womb with a rim shot and a pratfall. You know, I was not destined to go into uh, the world of of, uh, politics or journalism. I'm a a political freak in the fact that I study it and I follow it, but uh, I don't want to make my living doing it. So... I'm just grateful NBC found a place for me on the fourth hour where people are ready for some entertainment. They've had their fill of all the bad news for the, right. the yeah. They they know the news of the day already. They they pretty much do. And now the world's changed so much with 24 hour a day cable and everything else. It's it's it, it's just so accessible for people. But what people don't have enough of today is entertainment. They don't have enough of going to a place where they 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 can hang with friends. And laugh, and you know, we, our show is very similar to what the show that I did with Regis all those years. And and by the way, you stole that book. You, that was not. I I thought it was an unsigned book. I told you who it was for, and you ran off with it. You and your hairy nipples are also a thief. <laughs> so you lied to us. Often. Yes, of course he's lying. He lies to you guys every day, you, just so you know. You, you are out of line. Out of line. <laughs> Anyway, but I, I this is you're hitting a nerve here. Uh, good, a good nerve. Uh, what you and Hoda and, and whoever's on the show, uh, on, in the fourth hour of today's show, you you are just exactly what we need, and that's why you have mammoth ratings. That's why you do so well. Because it, people get tired of hearing the news. If they need the news, they know where to turn. Yeah. If they need to be entertained and have a friend, yes. they know where to go. And that's why they go, go And to we're you. blessed. We really are. We're so grateful to those people. They've been hanging with me for so many years through so many tragedies, through so many scandals, you know, you n- name it. I've outlived most of my critics, and even Howard Stern loves me now. It's crazy. Isn't Just great? live long enough. <laughs> He's the best. You will outlive all your critics. You will. One of my favorite Today Show <laughs> stories is we were there uh, with one of our artists of the month, whatever. The and moment. The, and they said, okay, everyone get to the side. We have to do a news story. And uh, one of the news people came in and sat down at the news desk, and they said, we got to record this. And they started reporting the death of uh, Lamar Odom. He, uh, Lamar Odom died? Well, no, wait. <laughs> so, so we, we sat in the studio and watched them talk about the death of Lamar Odom. Chloe's? Is that the what person no, wait, I'm thinking on. of? Hold yeah. on. Hold on. All right. Keep in mind, he was in bad shape. He oh, I the, remember. He we was thought in, he was going to in die. In the hospital. Uh-huh. And they were like, I was texting my friends, like, oh my God, Lamar Odom passed away. They said, no, 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 no. We're doing the story in case he passes oh. away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I'm like, do you do that? They record news stories about the death of people who are barely hanging on just in case they have to push That's play. Terrible. No, they've got my obituary written for years. It's weird? just ready to go, boy. But, but this just is how slap great. in the last interview she did. This is how amazing NBC News. I mean, this this it's wow. a machine to work at a network like that that they're ready just in case Lamar Odom kicks. That's they got crazy. a story ready to go. Well, that's you have to. That's the news business. That's why I don't consider myself part of it. I well, don't. Okay. I don't sit around and wipe write people's obituaries who are just fine and eating lunch. <laughs> it's this, just wrong Kathy, on every level. Kathy Lee brings up another great story. Is you know a lot of people who are in the the business, the obituaries are already written. Yeah. I know that I got a call one day from one of the newspapers here in town. They needed some 
some uh, information dirt. about my life. Dirt. And we're like, well, why do you need to know that? Well, because we're writing your obituary. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> when I woke up Have morning, a nice day. <laughs> I woke up feeling fine. <laughs> no, but you just fine. never know. They're like, well, you never know. Right, so, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so if I croak today. They, they're, they're, ready. they're ready. They just push a button. They got it. Done. We'll they're be happy good. to air it on the on the ten o'clock show. <laughs> I mean, Lester Holt already did the story. Sad news: Radio broadcaster Elvis Duran passed away today. Kathy will be like, "How did he know?" <laughs> <laughs> it's the strangest thing. Do you still love what you do? I do. You, you do so many things. It's kind of a stupid question, but. Do you love your life? I do. I'm so What's the blessed. Secret? What's the secret? Well, for me, it's always been a friendship with God. Right. You know, I've talked a lot about that over the over the, the months and years. Um, yeah, he, he, that's what keeps me centered. That's what, the source of my joy. And and uh, Scripture is very clear that if you seek Him and His righteousness, everything else will be given to you. If you got the vertical thing happening right, the horizontal stuff's going to get there too. Wow. That's your problem. You don't understand that. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you like I'll tell you like a, an inside story. Hanging out with Kathy Lee and drinking her wine, which is okay. It's good it's wine. It's like being with Jesus. That was his first miracle. Wine. Y- yes. It's Six true. pots. It was like 150 gallons worth. Read about it in my in Regis's book, The Rock, the Road and the Rabbi. Hanging out with Kathy Lee, she'll even if you're you're not really a, a, a a huge Bible scholar, which which she, I'm not. She is. No, I'm not. Um, you learn things. For instance, are you ready for this, Danielle? Yeah. Um, what was Jesus's occupation? Go B- before he was a rabbi. Just, uh, I don't know. Well, was you're the only person on the. Was he a carpenter like a, his dad? A carpenter. Yeah. And a carpenter what worked with wood and yeah. built. Okay. In Israel, where he lived. Yes, first century. There, there are no trees. There were no buildable wood so trees. So how did he carpent? Th- that's, that's my point. How did he carpent? This is why, this is did why I learned. Did you actually graduate from college? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what, okay, look, wonder. Me either. <laughs> even, even if you're an atheist, it's a great yeah, story. It is a good uh, story. And he, there, was no, there were no trees, so how was this guy a carpenter? I don't know. Well, there were trees. There were balsam trees. There were eucalyptus trees, fig trees, and and olive trees. So tell the story. Well, it's a bad translation into the King James Version. The English guys who were were to take the original Greek from the New Testament and translate into English said, oh, the word tecton is what Joseph did and Jesus did. So they said, oh, uh, uh, so he was a carpenter like, like we are. Well, there's tons and tons of trees in, in England and rock too. But in Israel at that time, the word tecton means architect or builder. Oh. Jesus was a stonemason. He was, he there was nothing but rocks there. and if He you, wasn't wow. sawing wood. He was, he was building houses with stone. That's and everything. Yeah, so, so if we're wrong about that, what else are we wrong about? Tons. And so that's what the book says. This is why I love getting drunk with Kathy Lee. <laughs> she teaches you some great things about... Wow. about and makes you more fun at cocktail parties. It's true. <laughs> now, now, also, there's very little water. That's right. So how did he make wine? Well, there, there are streams. They're called streams of living water. If you go to the Sea of Galilee, the one place where Jesus called his fisher, the fishermen to come and follow him mm-hmm. is a place called the, the Seven Streams. Only place in the entire Sea of Galilee, which is big, it's actually a lake, where seven fresh streams from the mountains all around it come down and go right into the lake. As a result, that oxygenates the water, and that's why it's the fish are there in multitudes. So oh. the fishermen were there. And you, yeah, it's just all we, this stuff you know. Danielle, Seriously. come to <laughs> okay. Israel with me. I'm, tr- I'm trying to get all this there. But my point is this: yeah, to sit down with Kathy Lee and just get snot sling and drunk and hear, <laughs> and hear these stories. That's crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> See, my <laughs> mom just went to Israel. She, they just went with the church, and she comes back. She still wants to know why we're not Jewish. She's like, it doesn't we, make sense. If why you we're not are a Christian, Jewish. you're grafted into the Jewish faith. There you yeah. go. Yeah, whether People, you like Christ, it or not. A lot of Christians are so biblically illiterate; they think that Jesus was a Christian. No, Jesus was a Jew. He was a rabbi. His mother was Jewish. His earthly father, Joseph, was. All of his disciples were. And the whole thing began uh, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So uh, you may not like that. You may not be happy to hear it, but it's actually the truth. There you go. So... A day with Kathy Lee, you learn all this stuff. I'm going out with Kathy. And you, you, you remember, Kathy Lee and, and you I are remember going like Israel. half of it because yeah. you're drinking, you're drinking her wine. All right, so okay. Well, now you can check it within the book because it's all there. She's amazing. And, and she should book. do a stage show. I've been telling her this. She won't listen to me. 
I, look, her book is called The Rock, the Road, and the Rabbi, My Journey into the Heart of the Scriptural Faith in the Land Where It All Began, which is a long title, but it's it's worthy of, of read. And it's I write it with a messianic rabbi named uh, Jason Sobel, who is one of the most learned Bible scholars in the world. He, he's a rapping rabbi. you got to have him on. Why are people so afraid to talk about about this? People are afraid to talk about religion, yeah. spirituality, or yeah. people are scared of it. And I, I wish people would stop being afraid of it. I, I think they're right to be afraid of a religion. Look what the evil that's been done through the centuries, through millennia, of, of when people are so religious. My book is not about being religious at all. I don't consider myself a religious person. I don't like to hang out with religious people. I am, I am in a relationship with the living God. That's what I live and breathe and have my being in him. That's what feeds my soul. And, and uh, Jesus had more trouble with the religious people of his day, the Sadducees and the Pharisees. Uh, and he, but he liked to hang with the prostitutes and the tax collectors and uh, on the real people, the gruff fishermen, because he said that's who he came for, the people that, that were sick. He came to, to help the sick, not the ones who think that they know everything and uh, have it all together. Because you know what? Every single one of us has a malignancy of the soul. Something is hurting and broken in all of us. So, um, but you have to agree, the things that are hurting and broken also make us very unique. Yes, and, and make us look at the world through our filtered, our own lens. That's own exactly lens. right. Yeah. But but he made us unique, and I would say that that's the first letter in unique. You. And uh, we live in a world that wants to cookie cutter everybody and put a label on us and stick us on a shelf and deal with us that way. That's why she's great. Yeah. Have you ever spit in a cup for twenty three and Me? Do you know where you're from? What is that? No, 20, but 20, I want to. You know, twenty because I want to find out if I actually do have Native American blood. I, I think you <laughs> I've do. been told my whole life that I do, but I don't want to be running around saying if it if it isn't true. <laughs> yeah, we we need to know who you are. Spit in a cup for God's sake. My Just father was Aaron Leon Epstein. I'm pretty pretty convinced that there's some Jewish blood in me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was not Irish. <laughs> I don't think so. How long does it take for that to come back when you send it? A couple out? weeks. Oh, that's it. That'd be a great bit for today. That's Spitting actually a big part okay. of my movie, which is called "Love Me to Death," which is the title of my single, which you can get on <laughs> iTunes yeah. if you'd actually care to hear the whole thing. Which would Elvis, you, I believe, would you get off my ass. doesn't want to. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford just loves to bitch and moan about me. I, yeah. I, I love her. She's my favorite brunch buddy. Uh, the song is called "Love Me to Death." In case you didn't hear her say that just just now, uh, I want everyone to go to iTunes and buy it. I mean, how much does it cost? What, $1.29? Yeah, I think so. Let's make it a number one, people. Yeah, Let's do yeah. it. Come on. Go to, go to iTunes. That, I tell you what. Go to iTunes and buy Love Me to Death. If you can send me the receipt, I will reimburse you $1.29. Oh, wow. wow. That's, oh, that's all. That's, hey, that's big it. spender. I know. Slam a little. Honey, the money just keeps coming in. I can't stop it. I know. I'm kidding. I love you to pieces, Elvis. I really don't care what everybody says about you. Oh, I think you know you're what? awesome. Kathy Lee. <laughs> so, Kathy Lee, thank you for coming in. I love you my darling. I've got to go to my day job now. I know. Tell the people at the Peacock we said hi. Hey, and by the way, if you want to play a whole song that is actually number one on iTunes and I think has been for an entire week, Drake? Hoda's song with Kelly Clarkson. Has, Hoda, oh, that's right. Hoda it's has unbelievable. The Kelly- you need to get out more often. I know. We're just, and we're listen much. to real music. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're awful. <laughs> I was ahead of Drake on all of iTunes when we first came out. I, have, I found that funny. Oh, what, yeah, we found <laughs> that it's in the system. Okay, but we have a piece of that song. Here, play that. Okay. Okay. crossing you and I turn in the wind. It's now what, what number is it now? Kelly Clarkson and Hoda. It's Wait, beautiful. Wait, it was Hoda. All I heard was Kelly Clarkson. Well, Hoda wrote the the words. They're from her children's book, which oh has also God, had a awesome. phenomenal run. So, she only got 15 seconds. Well, sorry, Hoda. Uh, it got Hoda. the 15 seconds. That's the way it should be. I, my ass is the one that's down here. Why am I promoting hers? Did she come down and promote mine? She did. I don't think so. You tell Hoda, shame on you. Hoda didn't come downtown. Kathy Lee never comes below 14th Street. No. Oh, it's so fun to discover there's a whole nether world. It is. There's an ethos down here. This is here. where Manhattan started, down here, I honey. know that. I know that. You were there. I was there. No, Frank was, not me. Oh, Frank. I know. All right. On that note, get out of here. I'm lo- I'm leaving and I'm taking Max with me. No, Goodbye, put everybody. Put Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Available Kathy Lee. Available on iTunes. Thank we you. Love I love you. Kathy Bye. Lee. Make it number one. <laughs>